Hey, what's up guys? This is T-Bone here. Welcome back to another episode of playing Gemstone Legends. So you can see here for the first time ever, I was able to get over 1 million damage against the raid boss using this setup. The boss is a four star Corrupted Nug Ash, which is the green dragon. And so this is a setup I'm using. What I'll do is I will go through the setup after we do the fight. I just want to jump into the fight. I'll show you and uh, see if we could try and recreate that damage again. Uh, and before we jump into it though, make sure you bring in Vermin Ash, your dragon. And then for your uh, potions, you want to bring in one large, one small. Uh, this combine will be able to give you 100% of mana for your heroes. Uh, one slot of Toxic Vial. Bring the small one because you can bring eight of them. And you want to make sure you bring a health potion after that. All right. And so we're going to set, uh, we're going to change our leader as well. We're going to make sure that Streetwalk is our leader so that we can have a speed increase. One thing that I was playing around with was whether or not to have Ketra be the leader because if you can increase the defense of all your allies, they take a little bit less damage and Ketra can deal a little bit more. But I think the, the speed increase from Streetbog is going to be more effective here. So let's jump into the fight and uh, we'll talk about strategy. And I'll say that the board also plays a big part here. And you can see that we do start before the dragon, which is great. And this allows us to employ a strategy which I call um, mana denial. All right, so it's very important to deny, um, deny mana for the boss here because you don't want him to activate his skill. You want to delay his ability to um, cast spells as much as possible and if you can deny any gems whatsoever from him uh, then that means you'll be able to um, last at least five turns before uh, he will cast a spell because uh, you're going to deal more damage to the boss if you can set negative status on him. For every negative status you have on the boss that's seven percent of defense that will be decreased for him and that that means if you can get 10 stacks of negative uh, status, that's 70% less uh, defense from, and a huge amount of damage can get through. All right, so the board isn't exactly very friendly uh, to us. And so what we're going to do right now is we're going to try and um, do a red gem match here, and I might need to use a uh, potion later. So let's take a look here. We have a lot of green gems that we do need to worry about, and let's do a drop here so that we can get... So we can get um, Ketra at least started. And so we'll use uh, Najar here to absorb all of the hits from uh, Nagash. And let's go ahead and do our first hit. So 29,000 with three negative status there. Okay, so pay attention to that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to... We're actually going to try and power up uh, Streetbok here. And there's no chance for the boss to match a green gem except for, for when he got lucky there. Uh, so that actually works out okay for us because I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to activate everything uh, one turn later. So let's go ahead and use this opportunity to uh, match the the red gems. And then uh, we will see what we can do here. So um, the, the boss is going to match one set of uh, three green gems. And that means um, that means I'll have uh, one turn to... to uh, He'll be able to attack one turn without activating his skill, so that's okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do this and then we're going to match our we're going to match more gems here so we can also get some gem attack in there and you'll see what we're going to do now so we're going to go ahead and activate we're going to go ahead and activate um kusai again and then we're going to activate lurkar so that we can get as much of the negative uh, status as we can on it and then apply one stack of uh, your toxic vial you're going to get heal block and also a poison and so that's nine and we're going to add one more so we can maximize so now we have 10 let's go ahead and activate Najar first and let's activate Ketra and see how much damage we can deal so 53.5 thousand is the damage uh, for a single hit for Ketra that is an insane amount when I first saw it I couldn't believe it but it is uh, the amount of damage that we're able to do all right, so let's see what we can do here. So we're going to do a match this way. We couldn't really deny um, the the gems too much. I didn't really worry about it. Like I knew that no matter what, he was going to be able to get that anyways. And so let's just go ahead and do more damage now. And so what I'm doing, what I'm going to do now is now's the time what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use this opportunity while everything is all set up even though it's super early i'm just gonna go ahead and use my potions now and i'm going to do this i'm just going to keep getting my 53 thousand now 
and I'm going to leave some of the potions for later. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get my damage in. I want to get my damage in so that I don't have to worry about uh, setting up and also uh, sort of failing and then taking time necessary to get all 10 uh, negative status on. Uh, you know, like I, I'm just getting my, my, my attacks in now so that I can get as much damage as possible. Sometimes the um, sometimes I don't get my 53,000 because the, uh, the critical hit isn't always there, but already we're at 414,000. And right now uh, we are at, there's still 28 turns to go, okay? And so we're gonna go ahead and heal up uh, Najard here. And then let's go ahead now and continue our fight. So now we've we basically used up all of our um, we basically used up all of our mana potions except for the small ones. So we still have some sm small mana potion uh, that we can use to um, to help us out. So what we'll, what we'll do is we will go ahead and do this. So we can get these gem matches. And I'm not going to use um, I'm not actually going to use um, at this point, you also don't want to use any negative uh, status. I, I'm not going to use a dragon, for example, because I, I cannot get any more uh, burn in there. But I'm just going to go ahead and do more fights, right? So, so I'm taking advantage of the hits. I'm getting more damage in there. And right now, this is working out really well. And let's see. So I'm going to do this. I can get more blue gems match as well. Unfortunately, that also meant that there's going to be more green gems uh, dropped in there. And so the boss is going to do another cleanse afterwards. Uh, but we are going to be just fine here. Like we're going to just go ahead and take a, take advantage of this. And let's just go ahead and do our damage now. We do need to make sure that... Um, we do need to make sure that uh, we're going to keep Kusai alive. And let's see. We can actually do this in... One, two, three. So we can power up Ketra and also Streebog is going to be power up next turn. So we can go ahead and do that. And then we'll activate Lurkar's ability. And then uh, sort of the same idea, we're going to wait and see how much more is there. And then we're going to use another two vials of the uh, toxic, toxic vial. And then we can go ahead and activate one more time. And so this is basically sort of a rinse and repeat at this point. That's what we're going to be doing. And let's see, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do matches here and not going to be able to act uh, to get more. So we're going to go ahead and activate um, Nashar at this point. And now it's another setup to get two things. One, we need to deny mana of um, we need to deny mana for the, the dragon here. And then we need to also try and get more um, red gem matches. So we're going to do just that. We're going to do one, two, three. We're going to do it this way so we can get blue and red gem matches. Unfortunately, green gems keep dropping. And so we're we're not going to be able to... Um, we're not going to be able to, to take advantage of this as much as I would have liked. But we're going to go ahead and uh, do this anyway. Okay. And we also need to make sure that we heal up a little bit. I think Lurkar should be able to survive. Okay. And you can see here with only four, we dropped down to 33,000. But what I can do here is I can actually go ahead and uh, charge up Ketra one more time. And then we're going to also take a, take care of Streebok at this point. Okay. And so now, uh, once again, we're going to level up Streebok. We're going to heal up Lurkar. Okay, we're going to use... Uh, the dragon and then uh, activate Najar and then use up we might need to use up three stacks here although I mean, we may be able to get away with just two uh, so let's go ahead and use this okay so I think we can only I can I want to save two of them because we still have 19 turns before rage is uh, going to be turned on and so we're going to go ahead and save those for a future future hit Drop down to 43,000. So you can see just how much difference it makes when you can add more negative status. But we're at, we're, we're at 675. We're actually doing okay. I think we could do better, but um, we, will, we will just keep pushing forward with this. So what's going to be a better approach for us? I think I do this. Okay. And unfortunately... We once again, uh, the green gems aren't being very friendly to us with the drops. So unfortunately, we will not be able to keep the um, keep the boss from. Uh, we're not going to be able to deny any mana there. 
Okay, so I'm not going to really try. And so instead, I'm just going to focus on getting the, the gems matched here. So I can power up Streetbok, I can power up everybody, and then just deal as much as, as, as much damage as I possibly could. And right now, uh, there is no no red gems possibility, but because of Streetbok, I'll be able to activate next turn. And so let's just go ahead and get uh, more gems to drop here to help us out. All right. Uh, this is where we're going to use the heal from uh, to, to help Kusai. And let's see. So we are at... We're at four. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and use two vials here to get Lurkart to use his ability so I can get some burn damage in there. So that should be five. And then we're going to add a couple more here. And so uh, once more, we'll, we'll just use up both of our vials, get up to eight. So we're not really doing as much as we could. Um, and let's see, Najjar has no more taunt either. And so we need to uh, use up one to get his uh, taunt going. And then we will do an attack with, with Ketra. And unfortunately, this time we didn't get the... Uh, we also did not get the critical damage. And we have four attacks because of uh, Borg King right now. And so the best thing here is to just avoid having more green gems dropping on the side there. And so we're going to match on the right. All right, so everybody survived here and we're sort of back to where things were before, okay? In that we don't have, um, let's see. We, we don't have to worry about the boss being able to activate next turn. So we don't have any more toxic vials though. And so we are going to have to depend on uh, Lurkar and also the dragon here and also Kusai. So I'm actually going to wait one more turn and I'm going to do this, this, and that right here. Okay, so what I'm what I'm hoping is I'm going to get Kusai's ability, so I'm going to get that. I, I kind of was hoping that I could get Lurkar, uh, but since I still have one more vial left, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and uh, activate his skill and get at least uh, one of the burn. And I think I can get two. Yeah, I can get two stacks of burn here, and so we can activate uh, his um, ability here. And let's see. So we also we, once again we didn't get the. Um, we didn't get the critical damage there, unfortunately. Okay, so let's see. I think Kusai is going to get targeted next. I'm not sure there's anything I can do to keep her alive. Uh, so I will, I'll go ahead and use this. Because she really is very important in um, being able to get more damage applied to, to Ketra. And so we want to make sure we do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and match everybody. Uh, we have this, we have this right here, okay, and we'll activate Kusai, we'll activate Lurkar once more, so now we're going to be able to fill up, um, hopefully we're going to be able to fill up the, the negative stats, good, and then we'll go ahead and use Ketra once more, another 53. Now it's sort of like a race against whether or not I'll be able to actually get enough matches uh, to not going to be able to, to, to get enough matches to power up unfortunately I couldn't power up anyone I don't have any more um, I don't have any more uh, potions at this point used up everything and so now it's all about mana um, denial okay so I need to be able to de deny po uh, deny the gems from from the boss and this is probably what I'm going to do so you want to move the gem away so that there you kind of remove the possibility of the gems being matched. Unfortunately, uh, it did get matched there. So this is going to be my final uh, sort of attempt at this point. And let's go ahead and uh, just let's just go ahead. Let's just go for it. All right. So let's do we'll fill everything up. And then we will go ahead and attack. So that's another 53. I am so close, but unfortunately, Streetbog is going to die. <laughs> I'm super close there, but Streetbog will unfortunately uh, be taken out. So I'm not sure that I will be able to to get the 1 million, although I'll, I'll, I'll definitely get close. right? And I could power up Streetbog here, and I could power up um, Najjar. 
So what's the what's the play here? It won't matter, so I'm not going to worry about uh, mana denial at this point because I only have three turns remaining anyway. And so what's more important is that I actually just get my uh, the the matches of the fire uh, the uh, the red gems. That's that's actually what's more important at this point. And uh, let's just hope that my units survive. Okay, so we have one last turn. This is the last turn, and unfortunately. Unfortunately, not likely going to be able to get it done. I have one last hurrah. Uh, the boss will have um, the the boss will be um, raged after this, but I think I might be able to do it as long as I can I can go next. Good, and I can also get a reflect on. So we're good. We're going to be able to get our our damage in. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, use Lurkar. Like nothing will get through, so my hope is Catra can get can deal a little bit more than eight thousand. But at least I still have Reflect. So here we go. We got over one million one more time with this setup. It wasn't easy, but we managed to do it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so everyone's probably going to die at this point, and so the best thing to do now is to just go ahead and do as much damage as we could with um, with gem matches. Uh, that's not going to do it with that so let's just do do this right here and then we're going to reflect back some damage as well okay we're going to reflect back some damage and so we're doing a one uh one million eleven thousand one million twelve thousand and we'll probably end up with one million thirteen before uh before all said and done uh, we will be able to have our one last attack with ketra and and that's all all right, so we actually ended up with 1.01 million damage, very close to our uh, last attack. And you can see here, Ketra did over 700,000 once more. And now what I'll do is I'll talk about the, the, the setup and talk about like why it worked. So um, Streetbog is here for the speed up. Okay, Streetbog is all about the speed. Uh, as, you can saw, as you saw there, going first, being able to go first before the boss, Help me set up the board so that I'm not behind. Okay, help me set up the board so I can deny mana as much as possible, and then uh, allow me to uh, to set up the pace of the fight, if you will. Even though he's a blue hero, he, he's at a disadvantage. I think that if you can deny enough mana and have a taunting hero, that's going to work very well. Najar, for obvious reasons, you want him to be there in order to taunt and to take as much of the hit as possible. And so I, I still need to work on his health a little bit. Um, if I can get him to six stars, then he will be much, much better at taking on the, the dragon without fear of dying. Kusai is really a um, sort of, you know, the key to this whole success right here. And so she's the next hero I need to get to five stars. Uh, she does have survivability issues, but her ability to cast multiple uh, negative stats, including vulnerability, uh, really, really uh, helps there. And there's also a possibility that she can uh, use her special ability twice. Okay, so all of this combined uh, really fills up the boss with the negative stats, as you saw. And then uh, Lurkar here is really just for the burn damage. Now you can use other units that also cost burn. It will work exactly the same way. Solian is really good. Sven's also uh, also really good. Or you can even use bleeding um, heroes like you know you can use um, uh, let's see the one I was thinking of is you can use Jumoke or you could use uh, where does she go? Um, you could also use. Ursula. Ursula is another one that you can go with. And then finally, we have Ketra. So I, sh I had a video about Ketra build, you know, like she's a great hero to use. I also got her to uh, six stars, just like Xena. She's another one that I use, but she's all about defense. So you can see here, I've really focused all of my setup to maximize her defense as much as possible. Her crit raise is 73%, and that is the reason why sometimes you see her missing the the, um, the critical damage. If I could get her critical damage to be at 85% against a green boss, I would have pretty much guaranteed a critical every single hit. But because it was below the 85% threshold, uh, I couldn't get that. The reason 80, uh, the reason I said 85% is because against a uh, affinity that you're strong against, 
you get a 15% critical rate bonus. And so 85% plus 15%, I would have gone my 100% crit rate uh, to guarantee that I can act, uh, get my crit critical damage every single time. And so you can see here, um, you know, I've talked about this before, but the focus here is, you know, defense plus crit rate plus crit damage. And so looking for as much defense ability as, pos as much as possible, looking for critical damage where I can in the substat. And here I have uh, gloves for, for defense. I'm still searching for a better, uh, I'm still really searching for a better uh, artifact so I can get more defense in there. The more defense I can get, uh, the more more attack I can, uh, more damage I can deal. So here really it would be best if I could manage to get myself a guardian set with two six star artifacts with defensive boost and you know looking for critical damage and critical rating so there's a lot of uh, farming involved here okay so 62 percent uh, here and another 62 percent and so this is a setup i here i have here uh focused solely on defense and she could deal so much damage if everything goes well so with the 70 percent decreased defense because of all of the uh, negative stats on the boss a uh, vulnerability from kusai to to take you know, so that the boss takes more damage from the special ability and just Ketra's, you know, per, like her own attack, being able to deal over 400% of her defensive uh, value, right? So she first increases her defensive value by 50%. So she goes up to over 6,000 defense. And then that goes, and then she deals six times, uh, four times of that, okay, uh, as damage. And so it is a ton of damage that she's able to deal. And so I was able to show that in, in the fight today. I was really happy about that. We're able to, um, we're able to get our, uh, you know, both attacks with 1 million each. First time doing it today, really happy, really stoked. And hopefully this video helps you sort of uh, move your, uh, sort of move toward a path where you can deal more damage against the boss, even if you don't have street block, even if you don't have a uh, lurk car, if you sort of follow the same idea, uh, with just the potion management and also with the gem management, hopefully you can deal uh, also really good damage against your green boss. So hopefully, hopefully this helped. I know that this is a much longer video, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time. Take care.